welcome to another GCSE economics video by Mr. Goff at mrgoff.com. Today's video will be about analysing the determinants of economic growth. Economic growth comes from the economy being able to increase its GDP or output. This output is created by the factors of production. Therefore, the quality and quantity of the country's factors of production are important in determining the rate of economic growth. When we talk about investment in economics, we're not talking about buying stocks or shares or putting our money in the bank. Instead, we're talking about expenditure on capital equipment like premises, equipment and machinery. Investment in this type of capital means that we'll be able to produce more in the future. A firm might consider getting new premises so it can serve more customers. Imagine if a Formula One team had to use the same sort of jacks and tools that we used to change a tire when they were trying to do a pit stop. Investment can also mean when, they, when we decide to spend a large amount of money in automating a production process. Technology is always developing at a rapid pace. Changes in technology mean that newer capital equipment is more efficient and able to produce greater output than older equipment. If we look, for instance, at computers, the computers that were used in 1969 to send man to the moon were far less powerful than the computer you have in your mobile phone that you keep in your pocket. Education and training are very important to economic growth. This is because better educated people are more productive. Therefore, as education standards improve, so does the total level of output from the economy. Sometimes people need to be encouraged to train in areas of need within the economy. By filling these areas of need, the economy can move forward much more quickly. So as we've just seen, investment and education both lead to improvement in labour productivity. The size of the workforce is an important factor in being able to increase the amount of output in the economy. In the UK, we're facing a population bubble. In the bottom there, you can see the difference between the population demographics in 2000 and in 2016. Now we have noticeably more people approaching retirement age and are about to have a much higher number of people who require support from a much smaller number of people within the workforce. Although it often receives negative attention in the media, immigration can help to increase the size of the workforce. The availability of natural resources that a country can exploit can really aid its growth. Britain was once very reliant on its coal and steel industries but this reduced as these non-renewable resources were used up. There's still currently a significant industry based around North Sea oil, but this is due to slow down as the oil runs out and the world reduces its demand for oil products. In recent times in the UK, several businesses have arisen around the idea of creation of renewable energies, such as wind and wave power. Most countries have market-based mixed economies. This is considered to be the most efficient method of allocating resources. Historically, growth has been slower in predominantly planned economies than in predominantly market economies. Infrastructure is the lifeblood of business. Airports, rail and road help get employees and products where they need to be. A lack of infrastructure is often one of the key factors holding back developing nations. Recently, digital infrastructure has become essential for competitive businesses. As a response, the government has announced significant investment in improving the broadband network. The government has policies it can use to either stimulate or slow down the growth of the economy. We will learn more about these later in this unit. Well, we've come to the end of another video. I hope this video has been helpful in helping you to 
analyse the factors that determine the level of economic growth. Next time, I'll be looking at evaluating the benefits and costs of economic growth. Until then, I've been Mr Goff from mrgoff.com. Have a good time and see you later.